Hi everybody, this is a stoichiometry tutorial about interpreting balanced chemical equations. The first kind of interpretation we can make is in terms of moles, this is the easiest one. The coefficient or the number in front of the substance in the equation equals to the amount of substance or moles. For example, tin for oxide reacts with carbon to form tin and carbon oxide. As we see tin for oxide has a coefficient 1, so we have 1 mole of tin for oxide. The carbon has a coefficient 2, so we have 2 moles of carbon. Next tin has a coefficient 1 so we have 1 mole of tin, and finally carbon oxide has a coefficient 2, and we have 2 moles of carbon oxide. Next we can interpret an equation in terms of molecules. It is very important to remember that when we have an element its molecules or particles are atoms. When we have an ionic compound, its particles are formula units, and as we have covalent compounds as acids, their particles are molecules. For example, in our very first equation, we take again the coefficient numbers representing one particle of each substances, so tin for oxide has coefficient 1 and it is an ionic compound because we have a metal and a non-metal. We say we have one formula unit of tin for oxide. Carbon is an element and it has a coefficient 2, so we have two atoms of carbon. Next tin is also an element and it has a coefficient 1, so we have one atom of tin and finally carbon oxide is a molecule because it has non-metals, as we have two molecules of carbon oxide. Finally we can interpret a chemical reaction in terms of mass. For this we need to look up and search the masses of each one of the elements involved in our chemical equation. If we take again our example equation, we have the elements tin, oxygen and carbon. We look for air masses and we get that tin has a mass of 118.7 grams, carbon has a mass of 12 grams and oxygen has a mass of 16 grams. Now that we have the masses we just have to substitute them on our chemical equation. If we have two or more particles of the substance we just multiply the mass of one times the coefficient or subscript. Finally we get an equivalence which shows our chemical equation is balanced and it obviates the law of conservation of mass. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts leave a comment. Thank you.